Amar, can you give me five minutes to start? Yes, yes, do. So I, I am I've just joined in. I'll start in five minutes. Okay.
Uh, very good morning to all. Morning, Dr. Uh, students, uh, we have with us now uh, Dr. Silvi Kocha. She is a senior manager for the entrepreneurship development at the Biorac, the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistant Council, Biorac. Uh, she specializes in managing brands and key requirements for growing business ecosystems. Uh, she runs several programs focused on uh, Biorac's uh, entrepreneurial spirit such as uh, Ignition Grant, the regional centers, and the student mentorship programs. Uh, with this short introduction, I invite uh, Dr. Shilpi to deliver her talk. The floor is yours, ma'am. Thank you very much, Dr. Amar, for the kind introduction. Uh, a very warm welcome to all the students to this 12th BIIS uh, school. Can I request you, some of you, to please turn on your videos as, as much as the bandwidth allows? Probably we can establish some connect with face to face connect and then we can. This talk will be more useful to you. Somebody is waiting to enter the room. Dr. Amri, you can allow. Yes, yes. The students, you can switch on your videos. So, Dr. Amar, how may, what's the cohort size this time? Just uh, students are 65. So we have a strength of 30 now participating. You are in. A... So I can see Getting students it. from Geet University, Osmania, Jadavpur, uh, Anna, DU. We have 31 girls and 34 boys. And 10, almost 10 50 students. Percent, almost half. Yes, half. And 10 from the uh, aspirational district, 10 students. So that's nice. Okay, even if you can't turn on your video, can I can I request you all to just say a hi, just unmute and say hi. I I need to one be sure that there is somebody listening to me. Hello, ma'am. Good, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hello, Hello ma'am. Ma good morning. Okay. So I would want one of you to tell me the what happened in the inter in the inaugural yesterday and what all just a summary of what all you learned so far. What have you understood about the biotech ecosystem and the and what BIIS holds for you? Just a, just two lines. Any one of you? So you all were there for the inaugural yesterday? Yes, ma'am. Yes, well, good morning, ma'am. Can I go ahead, ma'am? Yes, please. Raman would yes, like to go. Yeah. Please tell. Yes, please go ahead, Raman. Yes, ma'am. Ma we have learned a lot through our inaugural session, ma'am. Mainly the thing is we found out the how much huge opportunity in a biotech ecosystem and also the opportunity, funding opportunity, and to do our research and development. We found out the various opportunity in a BIRAC, ma'am. That's a main key learning from yesterday's session. And also we have, uh, we have came to know that we can connect to a various state who is a pioneer in our domain through this, this workshop. That's what we have learned yesterday. Okay. That's right. So all of you are from the biotechnology background. Bio, when I say biotech, I would cover all everything under the life sciences, agriculture, environment, biotechnology, everything. So. I believe all of you belong from one of the one of these streams. Is that correct, Dr. Amar? Uh, yes, Dr. Okay. Uh, so how many you all know the full form of BIRAC? Nadim, would you tell me the full form of BIRAC? Please unmute, unmute. It's still not unmute, Nadim. Maybe Apurva, Sneha. Can one of you tell me the full form of this? Ma'am, biotechnology industry research. Uh, it's not association, but council, I know for sure. Okay, can Pooja it's start the assistant the council. Yes, Biotechnology Research Assistant Council. 
biotechnology industry research assistant yes ma'am all right okay so what's the title of my talk going to be so all this is just to understand the extent of awareness amongst you all right you you and getting where i'm taking you to just that where whatever you are doing you have to be completely aware of what you are doing be 100% present wherever you are only then you will be able to benefit from what you are doing so this 21 days school is an opportunity which is in uh, only very few of you get this opportunity it's through a selection process that you have been able to make make to this school and uh, it's an opportunity which many of your peers don't get so if you are have have uh, achieved to be here give you 100% to it so that you can benefit the most out of it so i just want you all to be attentive to all the classes to all the lectures and you never know which class which lecture would be of the most use to you and can turn your could be a turning stone in the uh, in the path of your career so uh, i am assuming that all of us are present and attentive and you all have understood you have all have a base of uh, what biotechnology is what kind of ecosystem that exists i'm sure you all are aware about the 10 year celebration of biotech which recently happened and the srishti team and the gaiti awardees they all were there are you all aware of the event that happened at pratti medan last week how many of you know and how many of you heard our honorable prime minister talking about the biotech ecosystem you all know yes ma'am i hear yes. that yes ma'am okay So you all are aware about that 10 years anniversary event, which was graced by Honorable Prime Minister, and his vision and his uh, his appreciable words about these about the sector, which uh, during the inaugural speech. So even if you you couldn't make you you could not be present during that event, I would request you all to go back and listen to that YouTube recording, which is there on the uh, on all the channels. So uh, all right. so with this background i would now start with my presentation my presentation would basically focus on what you have uh, so far heard that biotech uh, sector is a sunrise sector it holds a lot of potential for young students like you and what biotech really offers to you as young students is what my that focus of my talk will be so there are number of opportunities there are number of avenues that biotech has created for you and this talk is aimed at giving you the glimpse of those schemes just just understand the names the all the information is there on biotech website you can anytime go back browse and understand more in details so just be about aware of the key words which exist that these schemes exist for this stage of students and once i am there as a startup what i what uh, opportunities exist for me what does biotech offer to me and then you can create you can carve a path for yourself based on those opportunities and understanding so i i hope i have the permission to share my screen amar yes doctor okay. so this is the title of my talk by translational ecosystem and biotech as an enabler so how biotech is enabling the translation of the research which is happening in the biotech ecosystem so we will actually take up these words and see how uh, how biotech is playing the catalytic role in setting up of this innovation ecosystem in the biotech sector so i usually start my talk with this saying of uh, um by john kennedy a man may die nations may rise and fall but an idea lives on so this last two years of covid we have seen so much of the uh, damage that has happened to the entire world's uh, wealth but what has actually helped take life through and take the and keep keep us moving is are the new ideas the new ways of uh, preventing the spread of corona the new innovations that came up the diagnostic kits the the vaccine which came up so it's an idea where the entire ecosystem where the entire nations and the world hinges on and these ideas live on these ideas have the potential to change the lives to save the lives so this is where we i want you all to focus on 
thoughts and idea can come to anybody so not just maybe your friend is very it's, it's he's very bright maybe that girl is very bright only she can think of a new idea so ideas could be very very as in they could be frugal ideas they could be very small innovations that have potential to change lives so never underestimate the value of an idea so always believe in your ideas and you are the one who is who knows the local problems so you all come from different uh, regions the different geographical regions so every area every region has their own problems their own issues which only you as the youth have the ability to solve those issues so be aware my reason of first asking you what we are doing where we are what bike stands for i'm sure you are not kids i you all know you all must be knowing all this it's just that you have to be attentive you have to be aware about your surroundings only then you can uh, lead to be at a point where you can identify the problem and then address then come up with a solution for that problem so think of an idea never ignore the value of an idea and if you have an idea in mind you are passionate about it trust me there are number of opportunities there are number of organizations who are supporting that translation of an idea to a product so it's not only about biotechnology that i'm talking about here in general government is highly supportive of innovative ideas by startups and startups are usually nowadays by students as young as you from undergraduate students pg phd students so a lot of startups are coming up and they're becoming unicorns of the day so have believe in your idea and once you believe once you have decided to take that idea convert that idea to a product we are there to help you throughout your and your journey so this is the uh, bat, first batech startup expo which happened last week at pragati maidan if you would see the punch line the title of our uh, anniversary event which was batech startup innovations towards atmanirbhar bharat so all of us have this joint responsibility of taking the bar take uh, making our country towards an atmanirbhar situation status so uh, biotech startups hold a lot of potential to make india atmanirbhar we have all seen the value of these biotech innovations during the covid days in terms of diagnostic kits ppe vaccines and so many things and we all today believe that biotech sector has the potential to change and save lives so this is about bayrak just an introduction of what bayrak is and what we do bayrak is a section 8 not for profit government of india enterprise under the Biotech, uh, department of biotechnology we were set up in march 2012 and we completed 10 years this year bayrak overall supports and nurtures the entire startup ecosystem in the world within the country when and the uh, presence of these startups across the globe as well so startups entrepreneurs and medium and small enterprises are our focus and the in, second punch line is make taking the innovative affordable products to the market so translational research and making that research being converted to affordable products for the larger good of the society is the focus of bayrak and we are a central agency which empower enable and accelerates the biotech innovation ecosystem in the country so you would see few keywords at the bottom in the blue uh, so how we define biotechnology biotechnology is a very broad word and anything which has the ability to touch lives in the uh, very broad life sciences that includes healthcare uh, drugs delivery drug delivery vaccines biosimilars biotherapeutics then we have agriculture and allied areas and within agriculture also it's not just the traditional agriculture nowadays there's lot of application of technology in agriculture and the application of ai machine learning in the entire overall all all domain areas then we have industrial biotechnology which includes waste management secondary agriculture sanitation clean energy so all of these whatever you can think of what has the potential and impact to uh, to either impact lives environment nature it all comes under biotechnology so it's a very broad term so if you have any confusion of whether your idea whether your innovation falls under biotechnology or not you could actually first go and clarify this with any of uh, us as maybe from the trishri team uh, with bayrak with bayrak partners lot of incubation centers are there i'll come to them in the next uh, subsequent slides so overall you would see what bayrak provides we say we support so there are multiple ways in which we support 
funding, innovation funding just happens to be one of the various ways in which Birex supports and nurtures the ecosystem. Uh, so there is a lot which goes into the startup promotion and entrepreneurship development. So this program which you are benefiting from is just one of the entrepreneurship development programs. We have various such avenues for young students and startups. So in risk investment, which is in the terms of equity support, then product commercialization support, then networking support, mentoring support. This is the, an overall holistic support is provided by Virac, including funding, IP technology transfer, training capacity building, and various other ways in which in any other uh, assistance that you may think of and you may require. So this is just to give you a glimpse of how what is the kind of growth that, that has happened over the last eight years so you would have read so many articles uh, about the event which happened last week and it has actually re kind of reported the kind of the growth which has happened in the last eight years from 2014 to 2022 we have seen a jump of 10x 100x in so many parameters number of biotech startups, which was as low as 15 in 2014 today stands more than 5000 in 2022 the number of biotech incubators, which were close to 10, have now become 70. So you can see in various ways in which we can see the kind of jump that has happened and the potential which is there. In the next 10 years trajectory, we can all imagine and see biotech ecosystem moving towards a sunrise path and a new and new achieving new heights. So we are hoping to achieve uh, 150 US billion dollars by 2025. Today, the economy stands close to 90 uh, US billion dollars. So this is the spread of the aspiring entrepreneurs across the nation. Uh, Bayrek receives applications through across the country and uh, we have our partners located in various regions, Rishti being one of our partners. Similarly, we have so many other partners to help the regional requirements, to help the students who are coming from tier two, tier three cities. And wherever you are located, you can find one of our partners near your uh, nearby your area. And all the uh, contact details and the address and everything is available on our website. So the partners who are the most relevant to you are the are our EUR centers and the Bionest Bio Incubators. So these are the two categories of partners who you can actually reach out to with your innovation, with your idea. If you have any doubt, you can easily access them. This is just a sectoral representation of what I actually, the eight, the sectors which I mentioned in the earlier slide. So a lot of our support goes into medical devices and diagnostics close to 50, 55%. Then there is agriculture, industrial biotechnology and so on. So not to say that any of the sectors are less important, it's just these uh, statistics so far. And male-female ratio also is now improving from 18% in the last 10, 10 years year back to date stands at 27%. So through our various schemes, we are encouraging girls, students, and female and women entrepreneurs under our schemes. So this is basically, this will give you a glimpse of what all, uh, what all programs and schemes and opportunities are there by PIRAC. You would see right from ideation stage to market stage. This arrow is a very important diagram. You can actually, through this diagram, the entire spread of direct schemes is represented. If you're a student researcher or an entrepreneur or a startup, you have an idea. So you, from idea to proof of concept to early stage development, validation, late stage validation, and going to the market. So you'll have the support from various schemes, which are mentioned, the EU scheme, SITARE, BSI, uh, this is social, Innovation Immersion Program, SIIP, Biotechnology Ignition Grant, AIR is for faculty and startups, SBIRI and BIBP, CRS. These are the schemes which are required once you have a startup in place and a little bit mature startup. Once you pass that five, four to five years of the existence of that startup. Then once you are close to market, you would require equity investment. So those these investments come through various schemes like SEED, LEAP, ACE, PCU. So all the various instruments uh, are required have been established by Virac to support you at every stage of the product development cycle. So in and the various verticals in which we support is entrepreneurship, funding, incubation, mentorship, and recognition in the form of national and global exposure. So there are a number of platforms through which Virac uh, provides visibility to these startups. 
at global platforms as well. We ha- I'll have the slides in my subsequent PPT. So uh, Sitare is one such program. You know, you already know one of the components, uh, Sitare Appreciation Grant and the BIAS. Uh, this workshop is already happening, and the other component is Sitare Gaiti, under which 15 awards of 15 lakh every year are provided to students. But these students are a little bit more mature than compared to you. They are they are uh, they are pursuing their PG or PhD programs. But nevertheless, uh, we see you as our ambassadors. If you are aware about our schemes, you may be having a connection with your uh, seniors, maybe your siblings. You can spread the word. You can inform them about the various schemes that exist at BIRAC and encourage them to apply for these awards. So the um, the calls for these, you, you must be aware about when, when to apply, how to apply. How to apply all of these schemes have online application only. And Sitare Gaiti is an annual announcement and it is expected to be announced in August this year. Sitare BIAS, we have three such rounds every year and you can uh, tell your fellow colleagues also about it for the subsequent runs. Then comes EUA, which is a very important program where you can apply. We, the first call is has just got over and the selection is currently in process. This is also an annual call. We announced this call in January this year and we're hoping to announce the next call in the coming January. So under this, uh, 250 EUA fellows will be inducted across the 10 EUA centers, which are spread across the country. So there are two components. One is for undergraduate students. The other one is for the postgraduate and the PhD students, which is the uh, innovation fellowship. The EUA fellow is for the UG students, uh, where the students who are pursuing their UG program currently will take up a challenge for one year. There will be one, some idea which they'll be pursuing and they'll be supported with a uh, quarterly stipend and an annual research grant also. So there'll be a team of three to five students who would work for one year on an idea. And Bayrek would support you to uh, take that idea to some tangible, to some uh, prototype stage within in a period of one year. So 250 such fellowships are awarded every year. The selection of first round of fellows is in process and will be completed this month. So this is a very interesting program and a useful program, which you can read further about this. And next coming January, you could you could think of submitting a proposal under this. Then there is a component of pre-incubation which is available at these centers. So how you would how these students would work on this idea is uh, during the summer vacation, winter vacation, autumn break, you can come to these centers. You will have the opportunity to work at these centers. The equipment, the specialized infrastructure would exist at these centers, and even you'll have access to the uh, facilities available at our bioness bio incubators. So this is a program which is very, uh, uh, which is like uh, a program which undergraduate students can really leverage and the infrastructure, the orientation, the mentoring provided by the experts, the guides who are there at the Bionest by Incubators and EUA centers. So I would encourage all of you to read more about the EUA scheme and the Bionest program through our website. So this I have already covered the EUA fellows who are undergraduate students, a team of up to five students uh, submit a proposal. The team is guided by a mentor. Uh, the, each student receives a quarterly stipend of 7,000 per 7,500 per quarter and an annual grant of 2,50,000 for the entire team. Then for the innovation fellows who are um, who have completed their PG or their PhD program, they work full-time at the EUA centers. So unlike the UG students who work as birds, the innovation fellows work full-time at the centers and they should have completed their PG or PhD program and they receive a monthly fellowship and an annual research grant. And these, these projects have a lot of inclination and a bend towards the translatable product. So these should eventually lead to setting up of startups. Then coming to a flagship program, which is Biotechnology Ignition Grant, which was also mentioned by Dr. Amar during the introduction, the Ignition Grant. It's a, it's a flagship program of BIRAC. Uh, we started this in 2012. And this, uh, this program focuses on supporting young entrepreneurs who have just completed their graduation or startups within the five years of existence. Through this scheme, we provide uh, 50 lakhs of grant in aid funding support and overall handholding and mentoring by the BIG partners. So there are eight BIG partners across the country 
who uh, handhold your application before the submission stage and up to the completion and even after that. So if you, I will come to the highlights of this scheme, you'll be really uh, pleasantly surprised to see the kind of impact that the BIG scheme has made. So these are the eight partners located IKP in Hyderabad, CCAMP is in Bangalore, FITT, IIT Delhi, KIT TBI is in Bhuvneshwar, Venture Center in Pune. Then we have the uh, Startup incub Innovation and Incubation Cell in IIT Kanpur, AID Nam in Hyderabad, SIGN in IIT Mumbai. So these are the eight partners through which you can root your application. In addition to these, there are 11 other partners who would do care, who will guide you and mentor you. They'll handhold you for the submission of application. So there are 11 additional partners in different locations. These are the logos, uh, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, and uh, so most of the Ahmedabad is there, Punjab University is there. So you can see, you can find one or one partner maybe nearby your location and seek their guidance. So this is the kind of impact that BIG scheme has made. We have received more than 9,000 applications so far and 700 plus have been supported. So this is a highly competitive grant now and the success rate has become less than 10%. So close to 50 to 60 applications are supported every call and there is, this is a, there is a biannual call. First of every January and first of July. So first July now we are about to announce the next call under BIG. So any of you who is interested in submitting an application to BIG can start right now. Seek uh, mentoring from one of the BIG partner or associate partner and start working on your application. So this scheme has helped uh, development of more than 100 products which are there in the market. More than 300 CR has been committed to this scheme by Myrac. More than 200 IPs have been filed. We have supported a lot of women entrepreneurs, more than hundreds of, of this is an actually an old figure, more than close to 170 projects are led by women entrepreneurs. And then there's an annual networking conclave which is done and six such conclaves have been done uh, through which the these grantees are provided networking opportunity with investors, with a lot of technical mentors, with the IP and legal experts. So now coming to the next important, very important scheme of BIRAC, which is like a backbone of all the various schemes, the BioNES program, which provides the incubation facility. So you must be wondering where we can work, where these startups work, where are the, I, show, I showed you a map of those uh, startups, entrepreneurs from the various parts of the country. So where, where do these startups really find this place to work? So BioNES is a program which under which we have set up 64 bio incubation uh, centers across the country and these are the centers which house specialized infrastructure resources and the, there's a world-class infrastructure that has been set up at these centers for to help you uh, to help you be conduct your experiments and the wet lab experiments at these centers so they have all the global uh, world-class facilities available there the world-class equipments, the hired equipments are there. You can actually incubate there. There are some charges for incubation. You have to seek the incubation space and you can work there. So it's not only about the infrastructure that exists. Once you are in that biotest network, in that family, so a lot of connects. So the networking opportunities with the, uh, right from the beginning for a startup, you need to have an understanding of multiple areas, including business, including IP, including legal. So all those understanding, all those networking and BioNest uh, incubation center provides you. So it's once you are into the BioNest family, you will see, see, you'll get answers to many of your questions. So you'll see we have seven clusters created. There are uh, BioNest incubators which are spread across the country. And through these 60, the count stand at 64 now, uh, more than 1500 incubators have been supported. Overall, these uh, Bionist incubators taken together offer more than 7 lakh square feet of space where these incubators work and more than 700 products are into the market by these 1500 incubators. So this is the kind of impact which the Bionist bioincubator network has created. So this is an understanding of the kind of the volume of support which is available. We, show, we saw an arrow diagram which mentioned the names of the programs. So this is a kind, this is an understanding of what kind of support is provided. Uh, under the EUR, we meant, I told you this is a fellowship grant. 
uh, for UG students. Then coming to Sitare, we have uh, funding support of 15 lakh for a project of one and a half year. Coming to BIG provides 50 lakh support. Then SEED is an equity investment of 30 lakh. Sibri again provides you up to 50 lakh. BIPP, once you are a mature startup into you become a company, you put in your matching contribution. There is no cap, whether it's 5 CR, whether it's 10 CR, it's an equal contribution by a startup is required. Then LEAP is again an equity investment of up to 1 CR. Product commercialization unit provides up to 5 CR. Then ACE is again an fund of funds and equity investment up to 7 CR. So you would see these schemes subsist slowly. There is a path which has been carved by BIRAC to support startups right from the stage of a student, from ideation to POC, then coming to pilot testing, then coming to manufacturing. And recently, there has been a lot of focus on setting up high-end manufacturing facilities. So AMTZ is one of such uh, facilities for medical devices. You, I would uh, request you all to keep uh, following, uh, to follow BIRAC's Twitter handle also, and keep uh, attending the webinars, the various opportunities you will see on Pirate Twitter. There are a lot of programs that happen regularly by our partners. So you can benefit a lot from many of these programs, the webinars, which are complementary in nature. So you can register for them for, for them, and many in your, maybe in your uh, area of interest, devices, agriculture, there are a lot of thematic programs also are organized. So these slides I would skip because these are for the mature startups. These are just to, for you to understand that these schemes exist once you have become a mature company. SBI, RI, BIPP, then the impact which they have created. The pay scheme is for your faculty. If any of your faculty wants to apply to BIRAC for funding assistance, you can maybe have a word with them. Just tell them about the availability of these schemes and BIRAC, these opportunities. So PACE has two components, AIR and CRS. If there is a, oh, there is some research work which just requires, uh, as of now, it's only at the proof of concept stage, the academy alone can come and benefit from AIR. And if there is some lead already available, which you want it to be validated by an industry, so the, an academy can come in collaboration with an industry under the CRS program. So this is a scheme which is of relevance to the faculty and you could actually inform your uh, supervisors about it. Then we have social immersion program. Uh, you would see there are 14 Spurge centers across the country, and there are certain focus areas of Spurge centers under which these uh, the support is provided. These are the various areas which I mentioned, maternal and child health, aging and health, environmental, waste to value, and so on, and the kind of support which is provided. There's a 50,000 per month of fellowship, 5 lakh of kickstart grant. Then there is an immersion, which is immersion means you'll actually be deployed at this field site and you'll see the conditions there. And then you would identify the problems that exist and then find a solution towards that. So that's the benefit of an immersion program. And then there is uh, access to the entire direct network, uh, which is available and mentoring by experts and opportunities for future funding. So that always remains. Once you are into the BIREC radar, the opportunity for next stage funding, there is, that's there. Connect with investors is there. There are uh, uh, opportunities to raise uh, private funding as well. So these are our equity schemes once you have again become a mature startup. So I'll skip some of these slides and these are some of these are the logos of the BIREC partners, national as well as international through which we implement our various programs. I mentioned about the capacity building program. So these are again of direct relevance to all of you. So as students, you should uh, you should get more and more exposure of what is currently happening in the biotech ecosystem, biotech sector. So these programs, these workshops provide you real time uh, exposure, real time insight into the various you know, sectors and the day to day events. So day to day activities. So there are a lot of workshops, regulatory, IP challenges, hackathons, which are conducted by our various partners. So the uh, four, there are four such partners which are our regional centers. So our regional centers regularly conduct a lot of uh, workshops and capacity building programs. And a lot of them are focused only for the uh, UG students, the young students. So I would encourage you all to benefit uh, from more and more from such activities. So there are four regional centers 
uh, if I have it on slide, I'll just, I, there are four regional centers, one in, uh, break, you can actually see the tab of regional centers on our website, BRIC, BREC, BRBC, and BRTC. So all of these centers have their mandated activities. They have entrepreneurship development programs are there, then regulatory assistance is there. One is center is specialized only for activities in the Northeast area. And then one is for the innovation mapping across the country. So this I mentioned about the, uh, the global and the national exposure, which is which Pyrex provides facilitates for the startups. So these are some of the pictures. These are the various countries which with, with whom we partner and we have exchange programs with like US, UK, Finland, Sweden, Korea, Israel, Singapore. So Pyrex has facilitated the exposure of startups uh, to these countries and through which a lot of business connects has been established, have been established by these startups. So Global Bio India was the was first such uh, was an event which, uh, which showcased the strengths of uh, the country in the biotech sector. So this was held in 2019. The second edition was held online. Uh, this this was uh, basically a testimony of how strong now the biotech ecosystem has become. As I also mentioned that Bayrek has a lot of focus on women entrepreneurs. So there's a dedicated scheme for women, for acknowledging and recognizing the women entrepreneurs. So there's a program in association with Thai Delhi NCR. So Thai Delhi NCR is one of the very important partners who which promotes entrepreneurship and they conduct a lot of activities for young students. So you could also uh, see the, uh, browse through the website of Thai Delhi NCR and look at their various programs. A uh, lot of evangelization activities are done by Thai Delhi NCR. So under this program, uh, every year, 15 uh, women entrepreneurs are awarded five lakhs each. And then these women entrepreneurs go through an accelerator program. And at the end of the accelerator program, three winners are awarded 25 lakhs each. So this is one scheme for recognizing the efforts by the women entrepreneurs. The Biotech First Hub, I mentioned that I mentioned about the various support programs that Biotech provides, uh, the innovation funding we have already discussed. Now we are discussing about the capacity building, mentoring, and the IP and regulatory support. So for Biotech First Hub is a uh, regulatory support uh, service by Biotech, which facilitates
because the slides are there only on the laptop i will have to wait for 2 minutes till i connect back yeah, okay ma'am I'm sorry about this. Our network at times in Bayrak is little unpredictable. It just goes off. Am I audible to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we were discussing about the biotech first hub uh, facility, which is there. For the uh, startups and innovators, so I was mentioning about the, this platform where the regulators from ICMR, CDSCO, RCGM, they are all available to address the queries one to one for startups. You just have to seek a prior appointment. Uh, so uh, first of every first Friday of every month, there is a meeting, and prior appointment has to be taken through Bayrak website for this. So now we are coming to uh, it's almost the last few slides where I have. Uh, put in some glimpses of the kind of products that have been developed by startups in the various sectors. So these are some of the high-end products, the companies with the sales of over five fifty CR, ten CR, one to ten CR. So this is into the largely into healthcare devices, drugs. You would see the technology diagnostic kits are there. Then the delivery platforms are there. Then we have uh, waste to energy, bio uja, bi biogas solution is there. So these are some of the and uh, there is a very important uh, website which you would you should actually browse see the biotechsolutions.com. I'm not sure if you got to know about this yesterday. There are oh, 750 biotech products which are in, are being developed with biotech support. They are showcased there. So biotech-solutions.com. All of you should uh, browse through that website and they're they're all categorized in the various areas. So whichever area is of your interest or your of your relevance, please go through the various products which are being developed. So that will give you an understanding of the new and trends in the area and the kind of innovations that are coming up in the country. Uh, Amar, you could actually give them an assignment of uh, discussing five, maybe in their presentation, they should talk about five such products from the Biotech Showcase website in their area. So a, a student from agriculture domain pick up five innovations from Agritech from industrial background, similarly in their thematic area, pick up five innovations and talk about this with them. So what you really understood, what is exciting about that? Who's doing that? Where is that research happening? So all those things take up as an assignment. Okay. So these are into agri-tech, then the first-in-class discoveries. Uh, I also have few case studies in here. So this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is, it actually has 750 
products and technologies now feature biotech-solutions.com. So these are some of the case studies we will actually come now. You will be, this is just to inspire you, to encourage you and to motivate you that don't ever think, feel limited about your circumstances or your resources. Nothing is, nothing can limit you. Uh, if you have passion, if you have an exciting idea that can change the lives, just go on and just, just take the first step forward. Then in rest of the things would fall in place because the kind of ecosystem, the kind of support that has been now set up by Bayrak and the opportunities that are available, you just have to take that first step. So these are some of the fellows who started after their graduation, post-graduation under the Stanford India Biodesign Program. And they have developed their products, which are now in market. All three of them are in market. Uh, the first one, which is this hearing loss screening device for newborns called Soham Labs by Nitin Sisodia. Then we have a newborn resuscitation device called NeoBreathe by Avijit Bansal. The company name is Windmill Technologies. So I'll uh, maybe one or two, we can discuss the kind of innovations that have been brought in. If you know about resuscitation earlier, what used to happen is that both the hands of the nurse or the care provider used to be occupied by with the resuscitation device. So it's very difficult to hold the new infant, the newborn, you know, the infant with one hand and then provide the uh, emergency care at that point. Otherwise, you need two or three people. So in a resource limited setting, in a PHC level, if there is only one nurse, one care provider, this usage of this device used to be very difficult for that one lady. So now this innovation, this problem was identified by Avijit Bansal during his immersion program. I was mentioning about the social innovation immersion program. So this was a pro problem he identified during his six months of immersion into a hospital setting that it was difficult for the caregivers to hold the baby as well as give the resuscitation. So what he has developed is a foot operated device. He has converted that functionality which used to be done by one hand. Now that functionality is done by the foot. So it's a foot operated device. So resuscitation can now be done by one hand. By one hand, the nurse can hold the baby with one hand, the mask and then operate with the foot. So it has become really, really easy at the PHC level. And he has been able to sell this device. He has tied up with Phoenix for the distribution and it's into the market, the innovation. So this is the importance of an immersion program. In the real time settings, you can identify the problems and then come up with a simple solution. But simple solution can actually have long, long term effects and the long term advantages would be there. So these are the young scientists who have turned entrepreneurs and they are inspired by the real life problems. The, uh, that innovation at the bottom the, by cutting edge medical devices by Dr. Pankaj Prashar, he was inspired by the real time uh, story of his uh, sister who during, his, during her pregnancy had high blood pressure. So the problem of uh, getting the urine tested every week or every, maybe towards the end, the lady needs to get the urine tested on a daily basis for protein urea. So this is a device which he has come up. Now it can be easily installed. Uh, this expo, he was there with his final device, which he has installed already and can be installed at the clinical setting at the PHC level. And this gives the result in one minute, in less than a minute. You just have to put the sample in the cuvette in this device and it gives you a result as soon as 10 seconds or so. So earlier, the lady has had to wait for a one day kind of a cycle and it at towards the like the last trimester of pregnancy, this is a very important uh, test which needs to be conducted and could be as in it's it could be uh, it could lead to even lot. It's a major reason for the mortality for mother and the child as well. So this is these are the kind of innovations which are uh, which are changing the uh, point of care, uh, the point of care uh, uh, diagnostic the, uh, scenario and the caregiving, caregiving uh, uh, abilities of a PHC at a PHC level. And then you still see the uh, technology by Pandorum. Pandorum is, has raised crores and crores of rupees from private investors and you could all actually have a read about the Pandorum technologies on the website and take up as an assignment. Then we have Dhananjay Dendukuri from Chira Labs. He was a pioneer in the microfluidic technology. So 10 years back, he came from MIT and then implemented microfluidic technologies in the country. He has been a pioneer in this area. 
then you would see some people who left their uh, high paying corporate jobs to pursue their passion so the only reason of putting these pictures on the slides is that there is no age which is appropriate for becoming an entrepreneur to pursue your passion you could actually get into this game as early as you as you are now even corporate leaders at an age of 40 plus have left their high paying jobs from g and g mahindra and they they have set up companies which have been able to commercialize products and they today in market earning revenues so bugworks is uh, poised to become a unicorn and uh, it's like has raised crores of rupees it could change the uh, entire game of amr the multi drug resistance uh, it's, it's a new uh, new molecule which is being uh, being discovered against the multi drug resistance so you could actually read about these few companies who have been supported early on in their stages their journeys by pyrac and today are at the verge of becoming unicorns then we have social entrepreneurs who were again uh, who wanted to change the lives of people who were inspired by the people in maybe in their vicinity in their surroundings and they wanted to change the uplift the the sufferings and to, for the mankind for the social well being they they left their careers of uh, being a scientist or being a uh, simple an employee somewhere they wanted to pursue their passion they wanted to uh, uplift the general mankind so uh, pavan mehrotra who runs arna biomedical he was a cancer biologist he left his job and they he has found a cost effective and a reliable solution for breast cancer survivors so this is a process which is there for the breast cancer survivors then we have dr shrinivas regala who is a professor at bits pilani he has developed a customized 3d printed prosthesis then this 1 dollar device it's really an interesting one uh, this he is an onco surgeon dr vishal rao he has come up with a 1 dollar device this so the people who lose their voice due to uh, throat cancer they can restore through this device can restore the voice of the patient at a cost of 1 dollar 1 dollar is the cost of the device and the cost of entire surgery also comes to as low as 3 to 4000 so which can be easily afforded by people uh, by the people at the rural level as well so these are the kind of innovations which are changing the uh, our society and we as indians we we know our local uh, the problems of the country and we are the ones who should who are determined to change it so these are some of the inspiring case studies who you would love to read more about them and this is my last slide just to tell you on how the kind of trajectory that the biotech ecosystem is poised to move on and by 2025 where we are hoping to be so we are hoping to achieve 150 us billion dollars as i mentioned so we'll have 120 by 125 bioness by bio incubator set up across the country there will be technology clusters the cumulative startup valuation is, uh, is expected to achieve crores crores and then in 10x increase in equity funding would be there so all what the message that i really want to convey through this slide is that the sector is an appropriate one for you to pursue your passion the entrepreneurship career so you could try and become a job provider and not a job seeker by uh, by pursuing biotech entrepreneurship as a career path and then once you have an idea in mind once you choose to be an entrepreneur we have at byrag we are committed to help you succeed so i will stop here and we are open for questions if any if you want you can also browse through our website understand more and write your queries so this is the direct id and amar can also share my id directly you can send queries to me i'll be happy to answer them thank you very much thank you dr shri the session is open for discussion students if you have any clarifications or doubts you can ask dr shri why aren't you asking this is the time to get your mind clarified and have more clarity about how young people like you can get into entrepreneurship right at this stage some of the students have done it in the past so go ahead and ask questions some of you have already developed some by prototypes so why don't you talk about that Yes, Dr. Uh, you had mentioned that there are several workshops and capacity building programs which are conducted. Like, how do we follow those and uh, know when the, when those are coming up? 
So there are two ways of doing that. One, you keep regularly visiting our website. We post all the information there. Second is Byrex Twitter handle. Byrex presence is there on the LinkedIn also, Facebook also, and the Byrex Twitter is very active. So if you follow Byrex Twitter, you will keep uh, getting updates about the upcoming events and programs. Otherwise, there are four regional centers who regularly conduct these activities. Uh, and they all post their, at least one month in advance, they post about their upcoming programs. So uh, I could not, I, there was, this slide was not there in my deck. The break, break, the break, BRBC and BRTC. So there is a tab on the Bayrek website about regional centers. So uh, follow them. And Bayrek directly also does a lot of events, but they're more, uh, as in more relevant ones are being done by the Bayrek regional centers. Sir, I was not aware that you are here. A very good morning to you, sir. Sure. Sorry, I just came and heard the last part of your presentation. Okay. Beautiful, I... beautiful stories, very nice. So there are a lot of such case studies which are there on the Biotech Showcase portal. So I actually advised uh, them to take up as an assignment. Maybe within their area, they can select five such case studies and talk about that in the last, the last day of their presentation. So 750 product, to which was launched by Honorable Minister this time, Honorable Prime Minister on the day on 9th of June. So that website has 750 products and technologies showcased. So each student can take up five out of them. We will add that to the assignment. Yes, sir. Anybody else wants to find out anything more? So I can share this slide deck as a PDF and yes, maybe I think that will be very helpful. That will be very. I'll helpful. just do it today, right now, and uh, I'll also maybe Amal can share my email ID with all the students. Yes. If there are any queries, I'll be happy to take. Abhinav, you wanted to ask something. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. If a student an undergraduate student, she has an idea. Louder, louder, louder. Uh, if an undergraduate student has an idea that he wants to pursue, like what would be the first step? No. So as the first step, I advise all the students to identify the nearest EUA center or the Bionest Bio Incubator. So uh, you have, you'll find a lot of mentors, guides there who will advise you to take the right, the first step. So uh, whether your idea to maybe the analysis of your idea, you discuss just talk about your idea with your peers in your network so networking is a very important aspect uh, if you, you unless you discuss your idea so even within our grant schemes we have now kept this component of having discussed your idea with the customers so go out and discuss take the first feedback on whether it's practical whether it's feasible or not and then once you discuss you'll always get that next step what to do so Binance incubators by and the EU centers are the right places where you can go and discuss your ideas. So Srishti is one of our Binance incubators. And then with maybe wherever you are residing, you can find at some distance, we, have, we now have 65 incubators in place. So you can find one of them near you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, excuse me, sir, ma'am. Uh, Go ahead. This is, actually, uh, sir, I want to ask to ma'am that uh, is this the right way to know the experience of the entrepreneurship? Uh, that if, uh, if I want to visit the those biotech you know, uh, incubators, so I get the experience what they are, what they, how they initiated the startup and how, what it leads to the difficulties, just, uh, just visiting, just by visiting or I need, or uh, from where I can get the actual experience of, uh, before, without starting a, a startup. So this is what I mentioned about the awareness programs. A lot of startups actually, uh, even during this 21 days program, you will act, you will hear from the startups and from the incubator leads also. So we, they will share their experiences, their journey of how, uh, of what they, what has taken them to start from a, from the ideation to this stage. So startups will talk to you, the incubator CEOs will talk to you. 
uh, and then you could request them you'll connect with one of them and request them for a actual field visit or a site visit so interact with few startups interact with the leads and then you'll get the real time feel of how it happens and many of these webinars these seminars are very helpful which i mentioned about the regional centers being conducted by the regional centers so can we stop now we, we if there are no more queries with your permission sir can i log off thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much on 23rd we will meet again for the gathi award function yes sir and in the afternoon we are going to have the ignite award ignited mind for children <clears throat> so we will send you the invite for the afternoon function also so we will talk maybe a day before maybe 22nd we will touch base and you know check every we we we'll discuss today itself so i'll give, maybe if you are free in the later in the day we'll connect and today i have a class at for i mean I, my course is so whenever beginning. you have time maybe before that we'll we'll just before, see. before that in one or two days we'll meet i'm again. sorry i couldn't join yesterday so for the inaugural no no that's okay my manish was there and dr shekhar spent an hour with them so yes it was very interesting so the program is highly enriched i saw the program yeah. schedule the outline only so, thing is that because of exams and some students have to miss some sessions but that's a part of reality we can't do anything about it So we'll deal with that, but they can also see the YouTube uh, lectures. All the lectures are available at YouTube. Right. Channel of you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Very good luck to all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, friends, uh, we will now talk about uh, the next. Which are we having a break now? Very short break, five minutes maybe or. Yes, professor. All right. So we will meet. It is twelve twenty-two. So maybe twelve thirty. We meet. Uh, okay, professor. Twelve thirty. Uh, students, you can take a short break, and we will meet at twelve thirty.